quarterfinal. They call him the Killer Gorilla, Can Canterbury's finest. Yes, they're only South Island are in the competition tonight. Please welcome to centre ring, fighting out of the blue corner, Jordy Bateman. The killer gorilla who trains out of the Canterbury Fight Centre. He is a New Zealand Māori. The only man from the South Island. He puts the shots together well. He's not a particularly heavy hitter. Very useful with his kicks as well. This is a, a little bit of a step up in weight for him. And he will go up against Nato Laouli, probably the most experienced man in the field tonight. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner from ETK here in Auckland. Please welcome the man they call Hard Knocks. He's Leto. Middle and light heavy. Let's see how he goes with the big boys. Looking forward to this one. Firstly, introducing out of the blue corner our Canterbury, who has had 10 wins, five losses. He's an orthodox fighter representing Canterbury Fight Centre. He took the scales at just under 92 kilos. They call him the Killer Gorilla, Jordy Bankman. And his opponent from ETK here in Auckland has had 31 wins, five by KO with just 10 losses. He's the former TBA New Zealand champion. Please welcome NATO Hard Knocks Lau. But it's the ring. Okay, guys, I want a good clean fight. Obey my instructions, protect yourself at all times. We're both briefed of the rules in the dressing room. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves and go back to your corners until I call you out. Oh yeah, a little bit of mean mugging from the boys there. Oli, he means business. He knows at this stage in his career, he doesn't have many opportunities. Time on. He wants to claim that elusive King in the Ring title. He is a Southport. Has a very good right hook and a very, very strong left kick. Bateman just getting up early. And you see why that only bears such a problem. Big left kick. Oh, two swaps, power. two goes in and two, three goes, three successful, powerful shot but and connections. Watch out. Well, Bateman's already shown. He wants to get to work with his hands, but he cannot stand on the outside. He needs to get his foot on the outside of Lauli. And he also needs to just turn that knee on the inside to check that. It's the only way he's going to stop those inside thigh kicks. Good work for though from Bateman. Hasn't been affected. He's changing it up, bearing his rhythm. Lauli, let's see whether he can cope with the different speed at Cruiserweight. 
heavyweights, they offer at a slightly slower pace. And that is something he will need to adapt to. It's been a long time since he's been down here. Yeah, Bateman's boxing very well. Kickboxing, I should say. He's changing off. He's not being in the same spot for a long period of time. His leads are different. And he needs to do that against this powerful man. Otherwise, you're just going to take shots like that. He needs to be cautious, too, about that lead leg. Doesn't really want to throw it too much other than to set up the right hand. Now, all he's looking for that inside kick, but he needs to cut off Bateman himself. Heavy body kick. You can see the power there just clatters him in the other direction. Like all he needs to find the right hook, though. Not long as that is getting through. It's eye catching, but it's being taken on the gloves. Lowly just needs to lead off a little bit with his lead hand. And exactly that. Use his right side to set up his power side. Cut off the ring. Prevent Bateman from circling to his left. And bring him back onto the south to power. It's just a punt kick straight into the ribs. Again, the way to stop that is using your shins, not your forearms to check, because that will create bruising on the kicking fighter as well. Well, he swiped it here, but he managed to score one at the end. Ah, oh, that one went through the gloves. Big power, and I think the arm may have been damaged. But the, yeah, his arm, he's broken his arm. Jordy Bateman four, has broken his five, forearm. He took that six, left kick on the seven, forearm. Eight. He tried to throw his right hand. And he would have broken one of the bones in his forearm. Nato Laoli just too powerful in the end. Jordy Bateman stepping up in weight. Laoli stepping down. And uh, he barely got out of first gear, but a great start for Laoli. That's our second KO of the night. Frightening, Michael. Tell you what, you were saying the whole time, you can't be checking it with your forearm that whole time. He actually tried to protect his head, but that was the time when he got the arm kicked multiple times on the left side. Then he comes back with the right, but I tell you what, the damage was done, it was delayed. I've been in the situation before in the league game where you, you make contact, and it's only a few seconds later where it starts clicking. You realise that you've actually broken your arm and your forearm. I'll yeah, tell well, you what. We'll need to get to him because uh, that doesn't feel pleasant at all. Referee Tony Angelov calls the fight off. Two minutes and 51 seconds into round two. Winner by TKO advancing to the semi-finals. Nato 